Ryan from Prima, and today we're looking at the Malkunig E65S Grind by Weight. Built on the foundation of Malkunig's flagship espresso grinder, the E65S, the E65S GBW introduces a fresh approach to traditional espresso dosing technology with the integration of a load cell into the portafilter fork. Unlike its predecessor, the GBW doesn't grind by time. Instead, it grinds by weight and measures that output of grounds in real time as they fall into the portafilter. It's using an algorithm as it grinds to determine exactly when to stop grinding in order to meet a precise programmed weight within a margin of around one tenth of a gram. So if you're currently using a scale to uh, measure your grinder's output, the GBW is designed as a way to streamline that workflow and add an extra measure of precision to the dosing process in the cafe. So let's get up close and take a look at some of the external features. So up top, just like the E65S, this has a 2.6 pound hopper. The lid has a handy clip if you want to display a sign for the coffee you're currently brewing. Below that is a stepless adjustment and on the back is a lock if you want to keep that in place. This has a really handy removable chute for really easy cleaning and behind that is an adjustment for the angle of that spout so you can accommodate different portafilters. This portafilter fork is adjustable just like any other Melkunig portafilter fork so you just need a flathead screwdriver to basically move this up and down. And then this whole fork is attached to a load cell, which you can see underneath the grounds tray and the load cell cover. So that's the inner workings of the scale itself. Inside of the E65S GBW is a 65 millimeter burr set that operates at around four to five grams per second. And there's also an internal cooling fan to um, draw heat away from the motor during longer grinding sessions. This is a three and a half inch display, which is really bright. It might be kind of hard to tell from the video, but it's actually huge. From this screen, you have access to three different doses, as well as a portafilter detection mode, which we'll get into in just a moment. To change the output weight, all you need to do is press the pencil and then adjust the weight in increments of a tenth of a gram and hit the check mark. It really couldn't be much easier. If you want to dose manually or add a little bit of grounds to your portafilter, uh, you can hit this pulse button to add just tiny amounts at a time. From the top of the screen, you'll see an approximate current distance. That's this number right here between uh, the two burr sets, and that represents your, your grind setting. That number can be saved when you're editing a recipe so that anytime the collars move back and forth on the home screen, it'll actually direct the user back to that grind setting that you had set. Finally, portafilter detection mode. This is a really interesting feature that Milkunig built in that basically uh, works to store the weight of a given portafilter and allows it to be assigned to a particular dose. So for example, if you want to updose for a particular recipe, designate a portafilter to that recipe and then assign it to the desired dose within the menu. And when you place each portafilter on the fork, the machine recognizes instantly which portafilter you're using and then automatically doses the respective amount of grounds. A little deeper into the menu, if you double click the jog dial, you have access to more recipes, up to six from this screen. Each of those is editable by weight or even by time if for some reason the load cell ever fails. And you can also assign specific portafilters from this screen. So that's the E65S GBW. This is a great grinder to consider if you're a low to mid volume cafe and you're looking to add that extra measure of precision to the dosing process. A shot cycle will last about four and a half to five seconds in total. So if you do want something faster, like in the three to four second range, the Melkonig E80 Supreme may be a better choice for your cafe. So that's it for today, folks. For more info on maintenance and unboxing of the E65S GBW, check out that link above. Thanks for watching.